everyone! You may be wondering where Chip and I are right now. Well, no big deal. We are just at the gates of the most super great, wonderfulest place in the whole wide world! Fun Mountain! It's a fun place! Do you hear that? That is the Fundagong! That's the sound of kids like you and me having too much fun! <laughs> just kidding. They make that gong sound every time people go down the big, scary drop at the biggest roller coaster here. Fun Mountain Thunder Coaster! Anyway, my parents let me bring Chip, my best bud, along. And we are about to go inside and get on our first ride of the day. The Fun Mountain Thunder Coaster! Get it? Like thunder. By thunder! Callie's parents said we can go by ourselves if we met them in Fun Valley after. Chip, let's go! I can't wait to hear the gong as we go down that huge drop on the roller coaster! Okay, let's go! I can't believe we weren't tall enough to ride the ride! Oh man, that's someone having the fun that we should be having! I stretched my whiskers as high as I could! But it was no use. Why do they have those rules anyway? Yeah, this is Fun Mountain. Not Rules Mountain. Come on, Chip. We have to find my parents in the Fun Valley. While we find them, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 2. Jesus was and is the Son of God, and that's a really big deal. His reason for coming to earth was to save the world, and that's a really big deal too. But even though Jesus was such a big deal, he came just like you and me. He was a baby and had a mommy named Mary and a daddy named Joseph. When Jesus was a child, an angel appeared to his father Joseph. The angel said that they needed to get up and go quickly. King Herod, who was a really bad king, sent wise men, like really smart guys, to find Jesus and to come back and tell him about the baby. You see, King Herod had heard that the baby would be a great king, so he got scared that the baby would be more powerful than him. The wise men found Jesus and worshipped him, but they did not go back to Herod. So, Herod made everyone search for baby Jesus. That's why when the angel came and told Joseph to get his family out there, it wasn't safe for them anymore. Jesus and his mom and dad went to Egypt and stayed there until Herod wasn't the king anymore. After that, an angel appeared to them again. The angel said it was okay to return home to Israel. While returning, they found out that the king who took over for Herod wasn't great either. So, God warned them in a dream and told them that they should go to a place called Nazareth. Even though their lives were in danger many times, Jesus and his family knew that they were safe because God was watching over them. The story of their journey to Egypt and then to Nazareth reminds us that God guides us to safety. Hands up, hands down. Now turn yourself around. Hands up, hands down. Now turn yourself around. Hands up, hands down. Now turn yourself around. They say you're short, too tall. You try and give your all. And then sometimes you fall. Oh man, that can't make sense at all. But God directs us. Yes, He loves us. We can follow Jesus because He leads us. You're growing bigger and so much stronger. God has this message for you. You should consider. You measure up. You measure up. You measure up, up. You 
distraction God makes us ready At the right time Always, always At the right time Of all the voices And all the noises God's words help us Make wise choices You measure up on this ride fit us perfectly. While the seats and seat belts on the ride we couldn't ride really did look too big. Yeah, I noticed that too. So maybe the signs checking our height are the signs guiding us to safety. Just like the angels in the Bible story were signs God used to guide them to safety. Yeah, I'm sure glad those angels guided Jesus and his family to safety. And I guess I'm glad for the signs that keep us safe here, too. Me, too. I mean, there's so many other rides that we can ride and be safe. Let's get going, Chip. More fun mountain awaits us. Next up, cotton candy. Speaking of signs, do you see a sign leading us to the cotton candy? No, I don't. Do you, friends? Whoa! Let's go! We followed the signs and made it to the cotton candy! Look! There are my parents! Chip, they got us cotton candy! Thanks for pointing out those signs, friends! They reminded me of our Bible story for today and how God guided Mary, Joseph, and Jesus to safety. God guides us to safety. God still guides us to safety whether we're in Egypt or Fun Mountain or wherever. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Chip, don't eat my cotton candy. Gotta go. 